Hey, hello Leo. So how are you doing? This is Heavenly T. Okay, we're gonna see what's going on in your energy. All right, this is not gonna resonate with everybody, but who it resonates with, I hope it can help you in a positive light. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well, being blessed. All right. Switch this to how it resonates, you guys. Only if it resonates. Welcome to my new viewers. Welcome to my channel. Please um subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, okay? Thank you. All right, um, Leo's. Hey, I'm hearing peaceful. Peace. You guys are you're one in peace, or you are at peace, peace and quiet. You have some peace and quiet in your life. I'm just hearing peace. Peaceful. <laughs> Quiet. It's silent. Okay? It's hard to even pick something up for you guys. So, peaceful. You guys are in a peaceful energy right now. Okay. Holy Spirit, show us Leo's energies. Show us Leo's energy. Okay, so Leo's, we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Fool card, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have the um, Six of Pentacles. Okay, you're holding back. Pisces, I mean, um, Leo, you're holding back. Okay, you might be either budgeting, concerning your stability. Or you're being told you need to budget, hold back spending, maybe. Yep. Or there's somebody in your energy that's holding back from you, or you see somebody holding back. So let's clarify. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles and Leo's energy. Yes. Clarify this Four of Pentacles and Leo's energy. Okay, somebody you're holding back from is somebody sees you as being stubborn. Somebody sees you as being stubborn, as holding back from them. Holy Spirit, clarify the um nine of cups. Yep. Somebody in your energy sees you as be holding back from them. Think you're holding back. They they think you're stubborn. The emperor, yep. The emperor card, yeah. They see you as being stubborn. They see you as um being controlling, or they just see you controlling things in your life. Four of wands. Okay, this is somebody that this person is wanting to marry you, or this is somebody that you're married to. Or this person is wanting balance with you, but you may not be giving in. You're holding back. They want to balance things out with you. Holy Spirit, clarify the four of wands. They watch you all the time. This person has their eye on you. They may be feeling a sense of, uh, um, sense of defeat when it comes to you. They may feel defeated. Okay, but they want to yeah, they feel a sense of defeat. Because all they want is balance with you, but you're holding back from them. They see you as being stubborn and not giving in. They're mentally trapped. They don't know what to do. They're trapped. They're stuck in how to move forward with you. On how to get in the balance back with you. This could be somebody that's married. It doesn't have to be, but okay, the magician card. They're even trying to manifest balance with you. This person is manifesting balance with you. Moving to better waters. They're trying to manifest that you guys move to better waters. Nine of Pentacles. They're planning, they're strategizing carefully. 
how to move the better waters with you. This person. Okay, and this could be somebody, if you're not married, this could be somebody that wants to reunite with you. Somebody you dealt with in your past, they want to reunite with you. But they just see you as stubborn and you're holding back with them. Could be a um Aries, Virgo, Aries person. But they're coming in. Nine of Pentacles. They're coming in. And but they're they're being careful. It's taking them a while because they're trying to make sure that they can offer you what they want to offer you. They want to offer you stability. They're coming in, but they they see you as stubborn, holding back with them. <laughs> They're 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 in hermit mode. This person's been spending a lot of time to themselves, trying to um get some enlightenment on how to come into you, in a way that you will open up to them, okay? So they can get the balance back between you guys, so you guys can move to better waters. The Holy Spirit, clarify the hermit card. Clarify the hermit card and um Leo's energy, yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, so they can move forward in the success with you. They're trying to get some enlightenment because they're very passionate about you, this person. They're very passionate about you, so they're trying to get some enlightenment. They're trying to be careful on how they come into you and offer you what they want to offer you, okay? So they'll get that success in moving forward with you. The full card. So they get this chance. They want another chance, so they get. So you'll give them another chance. Holy Spirit, clarify the full card. Aries. Yep, King of Wands. They want another chance. You you utterly satisfy this Aries. Okay, they're passionate. They're very passionate about you. It might be sexual, Leo. But they're very passionate. It might be to the point that they're obsessed with you. You really innocently satisfy this person. Yeah, the, you know what the King of Wands is all about. Having fun. Yep. Death card. They went through a transformation. They used to be a player. Death card. They ended that about themselves. This person went through some type of transformation. A change. Okay. So you may not know that about this person. So they're coming in. A changed person. They're coming in to offer stability to you. Seven of Cups. It may have used to have options. That all ended. They don't have options like that anymore. When you guys were dealing with each other. It may have used to have a lot of options. Holy Spirit. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups and um, Leo's energy. Yep. This person is being creative. They're trying to be use their wisdom. Okay, before they come in to you on how to come in to you. They may come bearing gifts to you as well. This might be mean they're looking at gifts to bear to you. When they come in to you, they're trying to be creative. Okay? On how to get balanced back. The attention that they used to have with you. You may have used to give this person a lot of attention. Yeah. They're... Yep. They're coming in to get the balance back. Holy Spirit. They're five or six of pentacles. Yeah, this person may come in offering you um gifts, money. Where maybe they you didn't used to do that to you. They might treat you out to eat, but maybe they didn't do that. Um the nine of swords, they're up worrying about you. This person stays up nights worrying about you. They've even been getting advice. King of Cups had to get you back in their life. King of Cups. They're emotional when it comes to you. 
but they may hide their emotions. Okay, this is a secret that they, they hold emotions for you. Okay, they don't want you to know that that it's a secret. They may also be depressed because you're not in their life. You might go to bouts of depression. Okay, two of pinnacles. This person um, may be juggling concerning their stability, juggling their stability, or they're juggling ideas on how to get balance back with you, okay? Tower moment. If they're juggling their stability, they're going through a tower moment. Mm -hmm. The star card. They're going through a tower moment concerning their success, this person. Or this is just telling you with somebody that you, okay, yeah, this person is juggling ideas on how to get balance back with you because you guys went through a tower moment in the past. So you guys might not even be having any contact with each other anymore. Okay. And they want a success. They see you as successful. They want a success. They're hoping that they could get you back in their life. They're hoping. Okay, and they have a success on getting you back in their life. Six of Cups. They're walking away from somebody or something. They're walking away from something, someone else. You don't know this. Strength card. That's you, Leo. They're walking away from, it's a secret that they're walking away from something. And they're coming towards you. But maybe you're being told to hold back when they come in. That you're being told to, for, or to forgive this person. Whatever you holding, whatever unforgiveness you're holding, you're told to forgive this person. That they're very fond of you. They're actually, when they come in, forgive them. Because they're very fond of you. That They think about you a lot. Okay, so they're coming in, walking away from somebody else, coming to you for forgiveness. Yep, judgment. Okay, they're very enlightened. Judgment. They've been enlightened. The person's coming in. They've, they've, they've been enlightened. Okay, air font card. They've had some type of counseling. This person is coming in. They've had some type of counseling, and they've been enlightening through their counseling that they had, okay? It may have been mental, some type of mental counseling they've been through to help them through this, their situation, their depression, bouts of depression that they may have been gone, been through, okay? Or maybe dealing with this person, they had to go through some type of counseling. All right. Okay, Leo, so that's the end of your reading. Forgive this person. They're very fond of you, okay? All right. That's the end of your read. All right. Let's pray for each other in this time of need. Concerning this um, coronavirus. You guys, be good. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. All right? I love you guys. Good night. We're going to stay time, so.